What is going on? Welcome to Brutal Arc Mobile. You're with Asian Romeo and we are on day two of the Blitz Week. Where is day one you ask? Well, day one was just a complete waste of time because the boss was, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to mention it. But anyways, let's hop straight into it. Blitz Week, day two, if the game will let me uh, just here. Today's dungeon is the Crypt of the Hundred Trials. Tech Shield, Tech Generator, Pump Shotgun and Tech Leggings. I've got everything there, I don't need anything besides the element. Uh, from what I remember, this dungeon was so easy and I ran it so much so I don't think I'll need a map most of the time but there's lots of uh, cool loot in this dungeon and there's uh, plenty of pl uh, premiums as well so I'm, I'm stoked for this dungeon. As I did mention the Yagi boss for day one of Blitzweek. Oh my god, it was stupid. I ran the dungeon fine but when it came boss time I ran I think three alt accounts and I just could not get a win on the on the Yagi so unfortunately I did not uh, upload but it's all good let's day two and it hap happens to be the the 100th 100th dungeon released so they made this dungeon in celebration in the first room should be unicorns Beautiful gerbales and nice pink equus. I'm so tempted to tame an equus, but the uh, the Halloween event should come soon, which means all servers go eerie. So I might just wait until then. I collected imps from the previous dungeons, uh, but again, I was going to resurrect them, but the event's so close. So, um, this wall trap is the only wall trap that's in the map. You have one wall trap that must be passed and one lava jump that must be passed. Other than that, the rooms are easy peasy, Roman easy. A lot of these uh, loots are just fillers they are what I like to call junk so things that are unnecessary that I don't use so they could be good for you like focal chili I used to use that uh, religiously in my uh, in my event rooms but not anymore not these days this one's probably more stew uh, didn't even catch it because I uh, claimed my daily which was five arrows instead Anyways I am so happy as you can see I'm using my ultimate sea skin I was happy when I got my eerie skin, but that was uh, Yeah, 500 amber which was a lot out of pocket and I finished my 60 day challenge for my ultimate sea skin and I am stoked because it is bright. Just what I want. Uh, and the, the eerie skin is it's bright as well. As like, I mean the, the color. Not the actual animation itself, but the lighting of the room brightness serums. So far, it's okay loot guys. I'm sorry if I'm not opening my map a lot because as I run these dungeons I I slightly recall that I've done it before and the rooms look familiar so I don't really need a map. Kelly and soup, this one should be something good. Or okay, fabricated's good. Now we've got all those loot we're gonna run into our first room, finally. 
unicorn room. And don't forget guys, the temperature does drop. I tend to use a bow because they are small. You can sword them, though it might be a little hard because the auto slash will eventually want to slash up towards the sky. But I just use arrows. I don't care. Easy. They're so tiny. Imagine if you could ride a tiny unicorn for an easter egg. Imagine if you resurrected these small ones and they stayed small. That would be cool. They don't even attack. They run away. Dead. Where are you? Might be the last one. Oh yeah. Give me all those arrows back. All right, now we've got a couple of more chests here and then we've got our lava jump coming up. So we get our loot first. Iron skillet, so that's a good chest to get if you do run. If you don't need any items in here, just do a speed run for the premium chest. You could probably uh, complete the dungeon in less than 10 minutes if you do a speed run. Oh, go away, Equus. Alright. No, just... Yeah. Woo! Alright. It's going to say I probably won't use wings here. But I did that because... Oh, hello, June. I am recording at the moment. I cannot... Well, I can chat, but... Sorry. I'll say hello once I'm done. These Argies... They're one-shot wonders. This, either two, maybe, three. <laughs> I take that back. They're not one-shot wonders. Take a sip there because I'm parched. If I can get a hit in, come on. Nothing to be scared of. They're just normal argies, and we'll head off to our dodo room. Now guys, there is a Pego room that's after the, the door. What I suggest is after you complete this dodo room, harvest all the meat you can from the dodos. Uh, get a headshot on them because they do die pretty quick, one shotters. Harvest the meat and um, save it and I'll show you what we can do with it later. It feels so different playing in third person, trying to aim and use a bow or use a uh, shotgun. The view just doesn't feel right. Ugh, why did you look in the bag? Alright, nearly there. I think this might be the last wave. And pew! Nice. Alright guys, remember as I said, let's uh, harvest some meat. I'm going to take it all, all the meat, because it's easy and it's here. I'm going to tell you what we can do with it later. But for now, let's continue. Gilly leggings. A lot of gilly stuff. They need to give us better stuff. Send an Equus Saddle, an Equus, ooh, nice little purple one, purple Equus. So that's our facility key after the Dodo room. Now, so, as I said, with that meat, what we are going to do, we are going to hot bar every single piece. Uh, we don't really need, need the map either. We'll hot bar all of that because we can. 
just stick with me and you'll see what we need to use it for soon. Uh, I am getting a bit hungry as well. I'd have to eat that. Can't remember if I cook, uh, bought any cooked ones. Alright. We'll just uh, jump past this too. Oh, that was a close call. Nearly overshot that. Easy. So what I'm going to try and do guys in my uh, in the next few upcoming dungeon videos I'll try to do, do the traps without using a symbiote to show you that it is possible. And uh, yes, well, um, now we've got that one. So we got everything here. I'm, I'm just having to think to myself. I'm, I'm like, what chest haven't I got? This wall trap on brutal and hard, I think, has a very long pause between the double tap. I think it's uh, the wall trap pattern. It is. A triple tap in the bounce, and you run on the bounce with a long pause in between them. Alright, so Pego Room. Our Pego Mastics, they take consumables, so uh, we needed that meat so they can steal from our hot bar. This makes it so they don't steal anything directly from your inventory. So just fill up your hot bar full of meat and then get the meat back and the meat will accumulate back onto your hot bar. Now as you can see they've got nothing left to steal and the wave's starting, I'm stressing. Give me some meat quickly. Now I'm pretty sure if you don't swing when the round starts they won't attack you. So avoid slashing and they won't aggro on you until you're ready. Then continue slashing away. Click that meat. Come on, give me all the meat. All right. I've got four full stacks, which is what you need per round. So yeah, see, I'm not attacking, so they didn't attack me yet. So that's good to know, guys. Pego room, stack up your hot bar full of meat and do not attack them unless uh, you're ready to be aggroed at. Now, <sighs> our next room is the pig room and we're just going to quickly prep for that. I bought some bowlers, I don't think we need our stambrews actually. I got some bowlers. So we're going to test out a couple of things in this room. Because I distinctly remember last time these pigs were a bit annoying. Let's send a chitin. And Argy Saddle. Alright, so we've got everything. We're going to go straight in here. I'm going to try and bowl of them and then bowl them. I'm just going to let them hit me because no point running back. They don't really do too much damage and I can afford to get hit. Come here, pig. Wasting my bowlers. Oh my gosh. Wasting my time as well. It is so hard, third person. It doesn't feel right. By the time I get this one, the first pig's going to come out. Alright, so that I uh, bowled them and I failed because I was supposed to do it quick. Look, and there's the first pig, he's out. Gosh dang it, and then the second pig. My battle plan failed, but that's right. We'll uh, just keep going at it. Best thing to do is... Um, aim your crosshairs away from you, don't keep it close to your foot and walk backwards. Um, 
only reason because sometimes you glitch and the pigs are actually closer than closer to or further away from you so when you release your your bow or you release your shot the, you actually hit the pig instead we're just accounting for the lag that's all all right round two bowler here we go i'm going to switch into first person because third person was just annoying so much easier come on third pig don't you run circles pop and then we'll go back to our first pig that we bowled and we'll take it out in a row this is what i was planning to do this was my battle threat uh, strategy and this is what i usually do to beat this room there we go and if we, if we can keep this pattern up then we're pretty good uh oh pig's out come here pig spoke too soon ah that pig was supposed to die before the third came out Righto, wave three, come on. Let's see if we can get our bowler tactics going again. Nice, three. Now we're going to use a shoddy this time and see the difference. Yeah, shoddy's not bad, but then you've got to wait for the reload time. When you reload a full clip, I'm only estimating, but you can probably pop off two shots of the arrow in while you're reloading so look really shotgun or bow will do it's your preference but if you have bowlers bring bowlers it will make your life easier in this room unless you just want to keep walking backwards and just shoot come here now just going to walk backwards and just shoot you can do it this way if you want but as i said i like using the bow in this room because their reload time i'm impatient on the shotgun but yes if you keep walking backwards full full speed and keep your cursor mid of the screen and just shoot away should be able to finish it pretty quick don't even waste time sorting guys because even though they're small they will shred you they still have the strength of a big pig even though they're little beautiful piglets piglet on a bad day look at all the arrows in him this goes to show how strong they are but one last arrow dropped you all right and if you're successful you should complete that room using my strategy your armor should still be really good and shouldn't have to switch out my first run of this one i actually bought what was it three sets and that room really really caught me off guard but i found a strategy to uh beat it pretty easily without shredding all the armor so what we got eerie candy beautiful the more the better not that we need it up ahead just there is our therizinosaur room which again is similar strategy to the pigs except we are not using bowlers and you can probably hear chewing crunching in the background because that's my little rug rat next to me watching me play who crunches really really loud <laughs> so there is xenosaur i use a bow 
because it is quicker. Just walk backwards um, at full speed and uh, yeah, aim for the head height and it doesn't matter who you get because eventually they all need to be hit. They don't heal so you're alright. So I'm just simply walking back full ball at the moment and just running left and right walking backwards and my son's still crunching away on his tiny teddy finally there we go we're dropping shoddy to the head as if that's not dead shotguns are powerful too Though impatient, so I'm switching back to bow. Come at me. They're pretty strong, so if you need if you need a Therizinus or grab one because they are max level. Final room is now complete, but it is a bit glitchy, so I am gonna relog quickly before we face this boss. And we are back and there's nothing to prep because it is the dung beetle it's easy so we're just gonna activate our weekly dungeon reload and hop straight in and do some damage let's do some wreckage all right for those of you who don't know the dung beetle by now as soon as you spawn in run to the right because there is this dirt mound and he spawns directly um, ahead of you oh that was a fail that was me trying to get him into a glitch but he just ran straight through it we'll see if we can glitch him through this mushroom I can only just see his shadow, I think, there to the right. Where is he going? There you are. Ah, uh, where are you? There he is. Come on. Over here. Why isn't it... Is it hitting you? What's going on? It might... Can't, can I shoot? Or is it not giving me a hit marker what is going on with my gun what is dung beetle over here buddy Let's see if we can glitch him up on this uh, ledge again no my gun's working but the dung beetle thinks I'm a mushroom <laughs> right, here he comes we're gonna run off Coming back to this mushroom, this toadstool. There we go. We've got him glitched. It does take a while to work the glitch. Uh, sometimes it's not usually this long, but once he's in, he should stay in. But he's walking off. This dung beetle is smart. But not smart enough. Oh, my control feels really slow right now. I don't know why. Come on, 30k to go. 28k. Easy boss, guys. Easy dungeon. Well, he keeps running away. Good, because I get bored of just standing in the one spot. Almost hitting the dust, and we're just going to finish him off with a wide variety of weapons that we have. There goes my flak just in time. Come on, 
How did that bow only do that much damage? There we have it. Woohoo! 25 free element. Nice guys. There we have it. Blitz Day 2 Crypt of the 100 Trials. If you like my video, hit that like button. If you're a new viewer and not subscribed, please subscribe now. I will be doing next dungeons video when it's released tomorrow. So please stick around and hope to see you then. I see you all in the next video.